Well, there are several ways to get on a unicycle. Um, and yeah, I have to warn you, if, if, um, if it flips out, it might, it might hit you. This kid in our neighborhood ran and got his mom and he said, Mom, you have to see this. It's like the circus out here. <laughs> it was something that I thought I could never do. And so when I finally broke through the barrier, it's been a, an obsession for me. <laughs> <laughs> they always say that a Chinese parent gives you what you need and not what you want. I can remember when I was a kid, we definitely had much more of the parent-child relationship than the friend-friend relationship. When I turned 12, my parents decided to take us back to the Philippines. And the thing that was so surprising to me was everybody remembered them. Even the phone operators would say, oh, you're the son of Dr. Ngo. And they would tell me what a kind man he was. He definitely taught me dedication to family. When I became a parent, I wanted to connect really closely with my children. I sort of made myself a promise to always be their friend as well as their parent. I've done this in a long time. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> when I was maybe 15 or 16, I started to ask a lot of questions about life and why we're here. I did an undergraduate degree in physics, and physics is the science that gets us as close as possible to the bare bones of why everything is. That's a rule I have in math and in life, which is take all the complicated stuff and shove it in a corner and try to wind up with something very simple. Many physicists will tell you that when the theory gets simpler, that's how you know when you're on the right track. And to me, that's a sign of an intelligence that created it. A friend of mine, a colleague, he was asking me about being a, a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. In his view, an organized religion would be mostly about controlling its members. I don't tend to be a blind follower. And so he was surprised that, that an organized religion would be such a big part of my life. And he asked, does, does it actually affect your decisions? And what I told him was, it affects every single decision I make. It infuses my entire life. I, I believe that God believes that I'm a, I'm a good person, even when I make mistakes, that I'm trying my best. And I truly believe that every decision we make contributes to who we are. That's the foundation of my faith. A little race here. I am a vice president of research for a major entertainment company. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a husband and a father. My name is Tom No, and I'm a Mormon.